now more than ever, it's important that you understand that information is power. The more information that you have, the better you can make informed decisions. So what I'm talking about are these cash buying companies. Now we do offer that now in our services in order to uh, let our sellers know what they could possibly receive. But before we did, we had somebody approach us about selling their house and ask like, hey, we received these offers. What do you think? Now the offers looked good when you compare it to houses that are actually uh, have sold. So that would make sense because the logic is that uh, a house is worth what houses similar in that area have sold for. But because we are in a market right now that's appreciating at such a fast pace, houses that are under contract are also being considered by these companies. So that's something you need to put into consideration. And with the um, traction of the market right now, uh, that is not the end all be all because after that are what are people willing to pay for a home uh, based off of supply and demand. So more than ever, what a house appraises for, what it's under contract for, what, a, what could actually go under contract for are all three like separate numbers, right? So, um, so what we ended up doing was she took our advice, what we did strategically because a house needed a little bit of work. These companies will come, make an offer, then do an inspection, then ask for a credit to low, uh, you know, to fix those issues, and um, then now, you know, you have your net. So what we decided to do is get the house inspected, make sure there was nothing major going on, and when we listed the property for ten thousand dollars more, approximately, we added the home inspection, and we told the consumer, hey, if you want to make your offer strong. Here are the five things we recommend that you do. One of them be being, take a look at the home inspection and waive the home inspection contingency because that contingency is a way for people to get out of a transaction, okay? There's typically two ways. There's a financing and there's the inspection. By removing one of those, you have a higher probability of selling. It worked like a charm. We received an offer for $20,000 over asking price. Now that one had the inspection contingency. We received another one, cash buyer. We let them know about the other offer that was also cash and a way to make theirs more attractive is to waive the inspection as per the instructions and they accepted it. So they netted much more than they would have if they went with a company. So the moral of the story is make sure you're working with a true professional. In this market, even though it might seem easy to sell, it's not hard to get under contract. Your goal should be to net the most amount of money for you and your family. Um, and just because the house needs a little bit of work doesn't mean that you, know, you can't net the most amount of money. Now, obviously there is a convenience factor People are willing to pay for convenience, which we definitely have learned and understand. And that's why that's a service that we provide as well. However, nine times out of 10, it is best to put it on the open market so that not only are you negotiating with one company, you're negotiating with other companies along with families. All right. So buying now is not um, about the numbers as much as the emotional purchase, because if you're not owning a property, you're not buying, you're renting. And what's happening with the rents right now, they're going up. Nobody wants to pay those high rents. They'd rather be paying a mortgage, especially, a mortgage, especially with these lower interest rates. All right. Now, the interest rates are starting to go up. Um, and um, that's something that that's why people are scrambling to buy a house right now. So anyways, more of the story. Speak to a professional. If we could be of value to you here in Northeast Florida, let us know. If you're not here in Northeast Florida, let us know as well. And we'll put you in contact with our go-to person um, in that area. Hope everybody has a great day.